The Global Action Week for Education Gawa holds importance as one of the key events for the global education movement. The theme for this year's Gawa is Decolonizing Education Financing. It is meant to urge governments to adhere to the Transformative Education Summit call to action by the United Nations, specifically in terms of education financing and with the aim to promote equitable and inclusive funding for education. It also means to address colonial legacies within the education system. Financing should be the key, one of the key pillars of the education sector. Now, we must find homegrown solutions uh, and decolonize financing in education and uh, see if we can reduce our reliance on the IMF and the World Bank. And also, there should be some beneficiation to education, especially from the institutions that are mining and that are uh, uh, getting income from the rich natural resources. One of the key calls to action during the Global Action Week for Education is to facilitate a doubling of expenditure in education. Namibia is already making progress in this regard as it currently allocates 21% of its budget to the education sector. However, Matibu emphasized that further efforts are still needed. Now you would remember in Namibia, uh, the teachers' salaries for the past uh, four to five years, eh? mm -hmm. four to five years, did not increase. So, and these are mainly because of the IMF and World Bank austerity measures and structural adjustment programs, that the salaries are not increasing. So, we want this to be removed so that. Uh, teachers' salaries should also increase with the same rate of inflation. Government and Ministry of Finance should ensure open budget processes now uh, to enhance transparency and accountability where education stakeholders have a role to input and monitor budget development and execution processes. Secretary General of the Namibia Debate Union, Edward Shati, also highlighted the education sector encounters additional challenges, including a shortage of well-trained and qualified teachers, inadequate infrastructure, and a lack of resources in many schools. Collaboration between the government civil society organizations like Nexo and uh, NDU in the private sector is important in addressing these challenges by working together. We can develop comprehensive strategies that tackle the systematic issues affecting our education system. Julia Nafuka, NBC News, Ventuk.